occasionally accounts, uh, I think maybe Tony has said this, but maybe I've just misremembered this, is that he also said that maybe Carlos was in the, uh, in the shower with Invader. The question is, what, if anything, do you think Carlos Colon knew about Invader's plans with Brody that night? Yeah, I mean, no one. No, go ahead. You, go ahead. No, you're the uh, guest. Okay. I'll I'll just say because I will defer this to Dutch. There is so much speculation about that, and again, what reality is there? And I think the more time that passes, you know, the 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 memory kind of creates its own narrative in a way that you know it's from from what I understand, it's quite unknown. But I'll let Dutch speak to that if he has any insight into that. But that's a very very interesting and complex point in and of itself. It really is. Well, let me go back to when I entered the the dressing room that night. You got to, you come in the concourse and you're walking down to the to the dressing room or the locker room or where the baseball team gets dressed, and and you go in and you open the door and right in front of you is like a coach's box, and it was Carlos Colon, Invader. And Jovica, one of the owners, they were sitting in there. And, and nobody spoke. We just went in, which is another thing that kind of set my antenna up. But Invader was putting on a, the, a leather thing right here. You know, he wears a mumbo, and he was tying it up. And I said, you know, that's strange. I mean, I didn't think all this, you know, right then. It, was, it came later. But I do think, I think Invader was the only one who had a confrontation in mind. Jovica's a lot of things, but being a part of a murder, I don't think so. Carlos is a good guy. He really is. I mean, I've had my differences with him. But I think him being a any part of this, no, I don't. I don't think so. Because they were businessmen. They knew that if something like this happened, they needed Brody. They needed him for business. They don't want to get him hurt. Damn sure didn't want to get him killed. I don't think. But I think Invader didn't tell them he was the Booker. Invader was the Booker. He didn't tell them nothing, and I think he went out there and. Like we said, he caught him in the shower, and he went. Uh, from what I've heard, I was out in the, I was out in the dugout when all this happened, and he went and he said, "Brody, uh, can I see you in here?" And Brody said, "Yeah." He got up and walked in there, and they weren't in there long. And then that's that's where they heard the the, the shouts and the screams or whatever, and a big commotion. And then Brody comes staggering out of the of the shower. And nobody saw Invader for the next hour because he stayed in the shower. And Jovica went in there and said, what the hell are you doing? I heard some screaming in there, too, between Jovica and, and Invader. And they were screaming at each other. But in Spanish, because I couldn't tell what they were saying. But something was going on. And But I don't think Carlos and Jovica, I don't think they had anything to do with it. I think they were just out in the cold like the rest of us.